Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Domifan S3 triple screen laptop screen extender. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. Here we have some specs listed on the side. So these are 14 inch screens at 1080p. We have some more specs listed on the bottom. You can pause and read through those. So this allows you to add two more screens to your laptop. So you can have a triple screen display. So let's get this open. So here we have the screens in this bag. Nice looking. Looks like we have the user guide and maybe a quick start guide. And here we have the cables. So this shows the packing list. We have the screens, USB-A to USB-C cable, USB-C to USB-C cable, and HDMI to Type-C cable. We have the bag, the box, and the manual. So each monitor has a multifunction button and a speaker. They have two Type-C ports and Type-C HDMI input. So this talks about how to use it. I'll demonstrate that. And here we have the regular manual. So you want to read through this all on your own. I'm not going to cover everything. This shows some different ways to hook it up here. So with this, we have it hooked into the laptop. Here we have a laptop monitor. On the left, they've connected a Nintendo Switch. On the right, they've connected a mobile phone. So you don't have to connect these into your laptop. These can work just as regular HDMI displays. So let's get this out. So this bag does have a handle on it and it has a little pouch for your cables. Looks like we have a Velcro strap to help hold it closed. So here's the back side. We have the ports, the HDMI, and the two USB-C ports. Now these are all USB-C style connectors here, but this one has HDMI on it. And that's going to be the same on both monitors. And then on the bottom we have speakers. So there's a speaker here and here. And here's one of the monitor controls. So this can go left and right, and you can also press it in. And I'll demonstrate that in a bit. So this is the back of the middle. So this has a kickstand. So this will fold out like so. There's some rubber on the edge here. And we can open this up. So this will open to the left. We have a piece of foam here. And to open this one, we'll pull this open. We'll bend it out like so. And now we have both monitors open. So this is able to stand free of the laptop itself. So your laptop will go in the middle. So I'll fold this up real quick set it to the side and we'll take a quick look at the cables. So it looks like we have two sets of cables. This is the USB-C to USB-C. Here's the USB-C to HDMI. And this is USB-A to USB-C. So these are the same, these are the same, and these are the same. So for the computer I'm hooking up to, I'll need the USB-C to HDMI cables. And I'll need the USB-A to USB-C cables. So let's pull this back out. I'll get my laptop here. So this is an early 2015 MacBook Pro. I'll be connecting up to HDMI. If you have a newer MacBook Pro, you can use the USB-C cables. Now to use two monitors, you have to have specific models like MacBook Pros. I mean, this is a really old one, or you can have a newer one. If you have a MacBook Air, you're only going to be able to connect one monitor, but this might still be useful to you because you could use the second monitor for some other purpose. You could plug a Fire TV stick into it. You could have a video game system. It depends upon your usage. So this can tilt back. So I can determine what angle I want my computer screen at, and I can angle the monitor extender at the same angle. So I'm about like that right now. I can tilt this back, pull the computer monitor up a little bit, and this can clamp to the screen. Now this isn't really holding this up so much, it's just keeping it in line with the external monitors. Now I'll connect up the cables. So the USB-C to USB-A cable would be plugged into the laptop to power them. Since I have two monitors here, I'm going to use an external USB power supply. So you could use a phone charger. If you want to power both monitors, you can easily get a dual port phone charger. I'm going to use this larger phone charger because I have it, but you could use a small one that you just plug into the wall. So I'll plug that into one of the USB-C ports. And then in the HDMI USB-C port, I'll plug in the HDMI to USB-C cable. So I'll fold that back open. I'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so I have my power cables in the back. I have my HDMI cables up front. I'll peel off the protective film on here. I'll plug in power to both of these monitors. I'm also going to plug in power to my laptop since we'll be driving two monitors. So on this Mac, we have HDMI on the right side. On the left side, I have Thunderbolt, so I'll use a Thunderbolt to HDMI adapter. I'm going to turn off my camera light. There we go. So we have the right monitor up. Let me open up my display settings. 
Okay, there we go. This didn't want to come online right away, so I actually unplugged the HDMI, plugged this in first, and then plugged in HDMI, and it came up. Again, this is an older computer. If you're just dealing with USB-C, it's going to be a little bit smoother. But it does work on a computer this old. So here we have all the workspaces up. Let me connect up a mouse. So if I drag this to the left, it's stopping. If I drag it to the right, we can see it goes on to this monitor. Drag it again, it goes on to this monitor. So what I can do is rearrange this. There's a different backdrop in the middle, which is that one. So I'll drag the one on the right to the left. Like so. So now if I drag it to the left or the right, it's lining up. Let me go to display settings. I'll hit scaled and I'll say more space. I'll say done. And now these are all in similar proportion to each other. So you can see the middle one is about the same height as the side monitors. Now I'm doing this on a Mac. If you're using this on a PC, you'll go into the display setting on a PC and do a similar type of setup. So now we have the screen set up. Each one of these is going to have a monitor control on the top. So if I turn it to the left, it's going to adjust the brightness. And then when this goes off, I can hit it again and I'll push it to the right and it will adjust the volume. So now we're doing volume. So when there's no display here, the first direction you press is going to determine which setting it's going to adjust. So once you pull brightness up, if you go left or right, it's going to adjust the brightness. So let's turn that all the way up. So these are both at 100 and my laptop is at full brightness. So this USB charger I have actually has a power meter on it and it says we're drawing 0.87 amps on one and 0.9 on the other. So they're drawing about 0.9 amps each. So they're not using a tremendous amount of power. So this has an on-screen menu system, just like a traditional monitor. So we'll press in on the control and that will come up down here in the corner. So we have our settings like brightness contrast, color temperature, language on-screen display, aspect ratio, auto power down, HDR mode, signal source, volume, etc. I didn't cover all those, but if you've ever gone through the settings on a monitor, you have those similar settings on this portable monitor. So the audio is likely still set to come out of my computer. If you want them to come out the speakers in the monitor, we'll go back down to our settings. We'll go to sound. And here we have two HDMI outputs. We have S3L and S3R. So you can select which speakers you want the audio to come out of. Now, if you want it to come out of multiple speakers at the same time, you can go into the audio MIDI setup in the utilities folder and set up a configuration for that. That's kind of an advanced setup. So I'm not going to cover that right now. So let's bring something up here. So I'm currently doing some 3D printing. Here I have Octopi up. I'm monitoring a 3D print here. So I can take this tab and drag it onto this monitor. I could make it full screen. Then I can take this, drag it onto this monitor, and make it full screen. So now I'm monitoring two different 3D printers on the external monitors, and I have the main computer ready for my other work. Another thing you could use this for, maybe you're learning how to program. On the left here, you could have a tutorial video. In the middle, you could have some code. And on the right, you could have a web browser. So you could follow along with the tutorial, type your code in here, and then display it on a web browser. Now you could also use this to display a spreadsheet across all three screens. So here I have a spreadsheet. I'll drag this over. Now you can see it's not dragging over onto the right screen. If I move it halfway, it just shows on the right hand screen. So I'll go back into my settings and this is Mac only. I don't know if Windows has a setting like this or if it has this kind of feature or limitation, but on the Mac, I'll go into mission control and there's a setting here. Probably can't see it, but just look for one that says displays have separate spaces. I'll uncheck that. I'll close this. Now it says I do need to log out. So I'm going to log out and log back in. Okay, so I have that spreadsheet back up, so I can drag that to the left here and drag it across all three screens. Let's see if I can do full screen here and what happens. Okay, so if I do full screen, it goes to the middle screen, or if I try and expand it. Now, different software might react differently in that way. So I'll just manually drag it till it spans all of the monitors. So here we have column A over here till it says AN. Now this is not lined up perfectly. There's maybe three quarters of an inch difference between the external monitors and my internal monitor. But I will say I have this angle right here set up so I can see it while I'm standing up. If I was sitting down, this would be tilted forward a little bit more. I'd put the kickstand down a little more and it'd be more like that. So now we're probably maybe three eighths of an inch or so. It's more in line with the monitor. Now you could potentially really dial this in and put the laptop on a little stand if you wanted it more perfectly lined up. But the distance of the built-in monitor is about seven inches and this is about six and three quarter. So this is about a quarter inch taller than this. But even though there's a little discrepancy there, for most things, your eyes will just flow back and forth between the two. So when you're finished using this, you can unplug everything, fold in the right panel, fold in the left panel, fold in the kickstand, 
stand and slide it in the carrying case. So that's the Domifan S3 dual laptop monitor screen extender. We all start out with one screen, maybe we add a second screen, and we realize how much more productive we can be. If you want to take that to the next level, you add a third screen. Now that's probably more common with desktops, but maybe you work on the road and you want to have that capability on the go. This is a great way to add it. This thing folded up takes up about the same room as a second laptop, so it's easy to carry. But once you attach them to your computer, you have just this massive screen expanse. So this could be good for spreadsheets, development work. There's probably some games that could be played on here. And I gave the example earlier, if you're doing development work, it's nice being able to have a place to develop, a place for a web browser, and maybe your email is on the other screen. It's a lot more convenient than having to flip back and forth between screens. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.